Hello, you are welcome to Earth Monitor, committed to Tutu Warbin. And today our focus is on anemia. What is anemia? What are the causes of anemia? Uh, Tests of anemia, clinical findings, and all our own. And of course, how can we manage uh, anemia at home and how can we manage it in the hospital? So, now what is anemia? Anemia can be defined as a reduction in the number of uh, circulating red blood cells, uh, which contains hemoglobin, resulting in reduction of uh, oxygen carrying capacity of the blood. I repeat, I said anemia can be defined as a um, reduction in the number of circulating red blood cells, which contains hemoglobin, uh, resulting in reduction of oxygen carrying capacity of the blood. Hemoglobin values vary with age and sex. Uh, newborn baby has, a, um, has approximately about 20 grams per deciliter of uh, hemoglobin, uh, but decreases as the baby uh, grows. Normal value, uh, normal uh, hemoglobin value or normal hemoglobin level for male uh, is about uh, 14 to 80 grams per deciliter and the uh, pack cell volume of about uh, 40 to uh, 50 percent uh, while that of a female uh, hemoglobin level of value is about um, 12 to 16 grams per deciliter and the um, pack cell volume of about 37 to uh, 47 percent so moving away from that now let's now quickly talk about or uh, let's quickly look into uh, causes of anemia so let me put it this way Classification of anemia according to causes. Classification of anemia according to causes. And number one is um, decreased red blood cell intensity, uh, decreased red blood cell intensity, uh, such as finding the microcytic apochromic anemia, which may be caused by iron deficiency anemia, depressed bone marrow activity, uh, as in aplastic anemia, and so on, so on, like that. Um, and we also have a um, uh, microcytic, uh, and I mean, nomocytic, uh, nomocytic, nomochromic uh, anemia, which may be caused by malignancy or um, chronic liver or renal disease and other chronic uh, diseases. And we also have um, microcytic, uh, nomocytic anemia, uh, which may be caused by um, folic acid, as in folate deficiency. Uh, vitamin B12 uh, deficiency and so on and so on like that and the second one is I mean number two is um, increase in red blood cell destruction that we call hemolysis increase in red blood cell destruction that we call hemolysis uh, which may be as a result of uh, you know chemicals or chemicals and drugs uh, sickle cell disease autoimmune reactions and so on and so on like that and the third one um, number three is um, acute blood loss hemorrhage uh, which may be as a result of trauma you know menorrhagia gastrointestinal bleeding genital urinary bleeding um so on and so on like that so moving away from that now let's now quickly look into clinical findings or clinical features of anemia clinical findings of anemia um, depend on type and cause of anemia and they may include general fatigue and weakness uh, decreased um, exercise tolerance uh, pay uh, mucous membrane and pallor of the skin um, shortness of breath and resaction um, headache uh, dizziness fainting attack um, Petechia, ecchymosis, orthostatic hypertension, uh, jaundice as seen in the uh, hemolytic or megaloblastic anemia, paresthesia or ataxia as seen in the uh, vitamin B12 deficiency, and of course, uh, brittle and rigid nails as seen in the aion deficiency anemia, anorexia, diarrhea, constipation, and there could be uh, angina pectoris. Uh, spinomegaly and liver lymphadenopathy and so on and so on like 
That so having said that now, let's now quickly look into management of uh, anemia. Management of anemia. How we can manage it at home? How we can manage it in the hospital? Now, pre hospital management. Of course, the first thing to do is to place a patient uh, in a comfort, I mean, in a semi upright position, you know, to his breathing. You know, we said we, uh, there could be softness of breath or the interaction. So, we place the patient in a, in a semi upright position to his breathing. You reassure patient and his or her relative, and uh, you assess LOBD circulation and every when necessary. And, um, um, you arrest any identified external bleeding uh, with sterile dress and conforming bandage. Restrict patients from the necessary movement, and of course, uh, uh, encourage patients uh, to take. Uh, we encourage patients to take a uh, fluid nourishing diet as tolerated, and you transfer to the appropriate uh, hospital. Now, hospital-based management. Of course, the first thing to do, uh, the first thing in the hospital is reception and admission of patients. Um, you place, you place patients in a semi-operate position to ease breathing. You still reassure patients and use your relative. You reassess airway breathing circulation and therapy when necessary. And uh, if cardiac, uh, I mean, uh, multi-parameter cardiac monitors are available, connect patients to cardiac monitor. You administer prescribed oxygen or you administer oxygen when necessary and you monitor fighter signs. Very, very important. You monitor fighter signs, assist doctor to you know to secure IV access and uh, obtain blood samples for laboratory investigations such as uh, PCV, uh, electrolyte, full blood count, and so on and so on, like that. And uh, you encourage your uh, patients. We are calling patients on bed rest to avoid uh, fatigue and increase metabolism. Obtain the uh, history on the on recent use of medication. We obtain history on recent use of medication because some drugs may depress bone marrow activity, you know, induce hemolysis and uh, interfere interfere with uh, folate metabolism. And the family history of hereditary diseases such as sickle cell uh, disease should also be obtained. And the uh, nutritional assessment is also very, very important because it may indicate deficiency in the essential nutrients such as folate, uh, aion, vitamin B12, and so on and so on. Like that, women should be questioned on the excessive uh, menstrual flu. You know, vaginal bleeding and uh, uh, use of uh, AO supplement during pregnancy, and you also obtain um, uh, you also obtain history on alcohol intake, that is amount and duration, amount and duration, because alcohol interferes with utilization of essential nutrients, and you check and record um, the transfusion factors. Uh, you administer prescribed uh, pre transfusion medication. You assist doctor to set up blood transfusion. Uh, you identify and treat any cause of uh, anemia. And uh, where possible, introduce patient to nutritionist. And you encourage patients on adequate intake of a uh, nourishing diet as uh, prescribed by a nutritionist. And uh, you educate patients on the uh, on the on effect of alcohol on nutrients, uh, and you encourage uh, patients to avoid uh, alcohol uh, or to reduce alcohol intake. And um, finally, you you know you involve family member in care of patients uh, because it will enhance uh, compliance with uh, dietary recommendation. You involve family. Um, family member in care of uh, in care of the patient because it will enhance uh, compliance with uh, dietary uh, recommendations. I think with this we will able we will be able to know what anemia is all about, uh, causes of anemia, clinical features, and so on, so on like that. So on this note, I would like to say thank you for watching and please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel packaging. 
one four. So till I come your witness, I'm Emma Olatudi, and I say bye for this moment.